All right, here we go. This one's going to be a little tough. Let's see, we need a plan to deal with every single champion. That's definitely not it, so it is really no decision. Alright, what is our game plan here? Condemn isn't going to be able to kill anything, so it's fine to go face. Hailstorm will kill exactly one unit, Champion of Glory. Uh, permafrost will deal with either Champion of Chaos or Champion of Wisdom. So that's fine. That's a, probably going to be the one we're going to pick. So the question is, do we want to lead... Is this on one, or I think we're gonna take it on one and get rid of Tezbu. Tezbu's gonna be a little too slow, I think. Um, and we need the Desecrate. Maybe Rista's actually are gonna want to dump because um, blocking is maybe gonna be important. I'm not sure. Uh, no, I think this one's just too slow for now. Alright, that's the plan. Maybe they, we get them to trade off. We'll blaze a path. That looks like we would have gotten to five, no problem. Stone but place for the weak I wasn't a hundred percent worried that we wouldn't get to five so much. I was more, um, more in the lines of I wanted to keep all our removal and um, try to get a little bit of pressure. I think. But yeah, the AI drew pretty poorly, I'd say, in this game. Normally they've got their 2-drop into the 3-drop. Perma. Or Desecrate. Ah. Uh, that's actually a good question. Desecrate. None of them have Endurance, so that doesn't matter. Um... Permafrost gets everything that Desecrate gets, except for a later drawn Champion of Glory, which would have Endurance, and then they could slap a weapon on it. So even though this might have been the more power-efficient way to kill it, I think I want to play around a later game Champion of Glory plus a um, Mantle of Justice, I think it is. So we use Perma, yeah. I'm not 100% sure if it was right to have put back Tezbu. Tick, talk. I think so, though. And if we're lucky, they'll drop Champion of Wisdom and Sodai can deal with that. In the meantime, yeah, I think Desecrate is fine. <laughs> Suffocate can hopefully deal with Champion of Glory, actually. Yeah, I'm definitely going to hold Sodai back for the Wisdom Champion. Yeah, 
I think it's just too important to get another unit on the board and take that out. Can we beat a champion of wisdom, though? Uh, since they don't want to block here. Yeah, you know, because if they draw a mantle, yeah, I really don't think there's any other option. Nature strikes back. Bring them down. We have to just run out there. In champion of wisdom, we kind of just have to pick at them with the deadly elemental. No. And yeah, I think we got this just fine. This is definitely not one of the scarier draws of the boss. I don't know. Here's the the question: Is did we have enough opening opening hand power with uh, that we would have wanted to hold on to Tazbu? I don't think we actually necessarily did because the only other thing we would have put back is um, Rista, right? And if we had put back a power, then we probably wouldn't have hit it on time, or not necessarily. And Rista, as you can see, applied a lot of pressure when they drew kind of in a more middling draw. And this should be lethal. And it is. Alright, another one for the good guys. And another 7-0 for the Conan deck. Come on, don't make me go 0 for 6. Alright. 0 for 6 on the upgrades. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about that... Uh, that opening hand decision was condemned. I feel like that was the only important decision of the game for the most part. That and uh, running out Sodai against the Thix 3 instead of waiting for a Champion of Wisdom, I think that would just be way too greedy of a line. Anyway, that's it.